so it is very beneficial for the students who have cognitive issues have developmental uh, coordination motor coordination issues issues precise issues and the moving issues with the balance and gait issues वो बच्चा जो पहले नहीं देख रहा लेकिन इसकी वजह से ये होता है कि वो नॉर्मल अगर हमें मैनुअल थेरेपी में नहीं दे रहा जो जनरल एक रिजल्ट है इसका कि अगर हम उसको चीज़ को मैनुअल थेरेपी में नहीं कर पा रहे तो दिस इज़ द मेन थिंग विच इम्प्रूव द आई एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन is basically to uh, convert physiotherapy and special education exercises as uh, augmented reality games so that the children think that they're playing games they're having fun but in reality their physiotherapy and their vital development is happening so what we do is we take physiotherapy and uh, educational exercises and then we gamify them using augmented reality making them fun and engaging for the children and the way we develop it is that uh, we have a team of uh, psychologists in house as well as uh, we have a very good competent advisory board uh, consisting of physiotherapist uh, psychologist uh, special educators and uh, clinical therapist who guide us on what games to make and then we also in heavily involve the community like our users our uh, the children the parents are are, are also involved in the de designing and development of the game therapy does work because what ai does is that it helps children with special needs get into a world that is very different from reality a world that allows them to feel sufficient to feel that they're able to do something so when it comes to ar working for children with special needs it's a go to have um how ar actually assists especially wonder tree games they're designed to make sure that children not only get the flavor of fun from the games but also able to work on their physiological and motor movements as well when we applied it as an intervention with the kids uh, the variables that i was specifically looking at were um psychological well-being which we call as subjective well-being and um Im improvement in decision making and improvement in some sort of motor coordination when we played the games with the kids and uh, we ran that research for almost a year or so we found out that there was a significant improve in their subjective well-being they were more responsive to instructions and there was a certain improve in their decision making ability where they're able to not only comprehend instructions but also act on them as well <laughs> 